Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be finishing up uh, what we just started. Uh, we went through and cleaned a few things up. We looked at maybe um, redesigning uh, where some of our scripting was going to be and, and uh, looking at some algorithms of how we want to design uh, the functionality of, of part of the game. Now we're just going to be finishing that up. Um, in the last video we had uh, created the, an aim cam and then um, moved all the code for the ball, uh, launching the ball over into that. So let's actually use our aim cam now. So in order to do that, just for for right now, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on the aim cam, go to common attributes, and I want to line this up with my chase cam for right now. Um, eventually I want to do things a little bit different, um, but for now We'll just do it this way. So uh, I put it at zero and then five and 10 on the Z axis. So it's 10 units behind the ball. And so let's save the scene. Let's go ahead and go into our code. And in the main AI on our on init, we originally set up our code to set the active camera as the chase camera. I don't wanna do that anymore. What I wanna do is set the active camera to the aim camera. So let's take this. We're going to cut and paste it down below here. We're going to get rid of this whole thing because we shouldn't need the chase cam in that part. And we're going to say that we want to set the active camera to uh, this dot, come on, h aim cam. Okay, so now the camera is set to the aim camera. Let's go into the aim camera AI and let's, you know what, actually let's, um, while we're in the main, let's close this because we're not using it anymore. Let's go into main AI and because we want to aim when we move the mouse around, let's use a new handler called on mouse move. And all we're going to do is we're going to send this event over to the, the chase cam AI or the aim cam aim cam AI. That's a tongue twister. Okay, so object let's send event. Um, we already have a reference to it, so this dot h aim cam and the aim cam AI is called aim cam AI. Go figure. And the event name is just going to be on mouse move. And then the last bits that we want to add in are going to be this whole string of um, arguments. So copy and paste. Okay, save, compile. All right, so we now have our events going over to our aim cam AI. So let's make a handler in here to handle those events being sent over on mouse move. Um, okay, so when we do the on mouse move, there's a couple of things that we're given. We're given the um, endpoint X and endpoint Y. Those are the actual X and Y coordinates on the screen since the screen is two dimensional. So that's where the actual cursor is pointing. The end delta X and delta Y is the change. So since the last time the on mouse move was called, you're going to have a change um, because the mouse pointer is going to move from one place to another. Now the ray stuff is you can do some ray casting where you can actually shoot a line into the 3D world from the point at which the cursor is on the screen and you'll actually be able to hit objects and see you know what objects directly under the, the cursor. But for now, all we're gonna do is, is deal with the N delta X and the N delta Y. Now it's gonna get a little tricky because um, the mouse is gonna move in two axes. You're gonna have the one that goes up and down and then you're gonna have the one that goes left and right. And we, this is where we have to start using some local um, object spaces or coordinate spaces instead of the global one. Because if you do everything in global, well, when you tilt the camera down to look down at the ground, and then if you go to move left and right, if you're using the um, global axes, then everything gets kind of skewed and then your camera gets off kilter. So let's, um, uh, let's see, what do we need to do? Let's start with, Let's adjust the rotation. So um, rotate, and it wants the object, which is just going to be 
you know what? We never grabbed the camera itself, so let's back up and do that. So let's go up and create the variable, which is just going to be hcam. It's an object. Hit OK. Go into the initialization. And we're also going to grab a handle to the camera, which is just this dot get object since it's already assigned. We were assigning this AI to this particular object, so we can just grab it that way. Compile and save. Okay, so we run on mouse move. So this dot H cam, we want to move the camera. Now it's asking for rotation. So in the rotate function call, um, this is how many degrees we're going to rotate across each axis. So the difficult thing about rotation is that you have to remember, so um, with the mouse move, we want to capture the, the change in X and the change in Y because we want to know which direction the mouse is moving. So if the mouse is moving and the change in X is a positive 3, then we know that we're moving to the right because we're going up in X coordinates. Um, but if you're moving to the right, then that means that you are actually rotating around the y-axis, right? Because the y-axis is the vertical axis, and so if you're moving left and right, that means that we our pivot point is going to be that vertical axis. So we want to put, um, we have to we have to flip flop. We're going to use delta x for the y, and we're going to use delta y for the x. So in this one, we're going to do rotation. Let's just do um, delta y first. So this is going to be the when we're looking up and down. Uh, delta Y and then this looks a little odd but this is what we're going to do for right now we're going to handle each rotation separately um, so the next thing we have to do is the space okay so we're using N Delta Y which means we're doing the up and down look well on the up and down look we want to make sure that that is in the local coordinate space because um, if we're already tilted down then we want to use the axis for um, the camera that already exists to continue to look down. If we use the global space, then that's what's going to skew us. So let's go ahead and put object and we'll put uh, local and we'll do our next rotation. Same thing, we're doing the camera. This time we're going to do 0 for x, and then for y we're going to do n delta x, 0 for z, and then this one we're doing object global. And let me just make sure that I got that right. I have the code that I was using right over here. So um, for delta y we want to do local space, which I believe that I did. Yes, okay. Sometimes it's it gets confusing. You just have to make sure that um, you're doing the right thing. Okay, and then I am going to refer back to my code that I had over here, and I'm going to cut and paste this just because it's easier um, than trying to type it out, and I'll explain what it does here. Let me paste that in. Okay, so all this is doing is... Um, it's keeping the, the mouse in the center of the screen. So if the the X point is not equal to zero or the Y point's not equal to zero, then it's just gonna call this, which is just um, center mouse. So it's just gonna put the, the mouse back into the center of the screen. Otherwise, we'll get to the edge of the screen. We won't be able to move any further. So let's save that. Let's compile it. I have one error, malformed expression. So we are missing, what are we missing here? Expected. Ah, so here we did the HCAM. We should have that. Save, compile. Everything looks good. Let's see what happens when we come over here and run things. Okay, check error log for details. So, what do we have? Attempt to call field center mouse. Oh, you know what? I think that was actually. A function that I had defined in one of my other programs. Hold on, let me check on that. Okay, so I ran over to another project and I pulled this out. It, sure enough, I created a function um, that I put it center mouse. So I added this into our aim cam AI, uh, just added a function called center mouse. 
all it does is it gets um, the current user and then it calls this um, HUD function set current uh, cursor position. 50-50 means that it's 50% um, down the screen, 50% over, so it just centers it. And then when we come over here and actually run it, um, now you'll notice we need to make some adjustments because when we go left and right, up and down, it doesn't move very much. Um, but then you'll notice when we click the ball, you can see there goes the chase cam with the ball. It's following it right along. Um, so we are using the AM cam right now. And we can continue to click on that button and see it go. Um, now, when we do this, we've captured the mouse input. So in order to stop running the scene, hit Control shift f9 That will stop the scene. So let's run over to our code here. One thing we're going to do is we're going to make this so it moves a little bit more. So let's multiply these values by, let's say, 60 for now. We'll see how that works out. The other thing that I noticed is that when I move left and right, it didn't move the direction that I was expecting. So I'm going to actually reverse this by hitting negative. So let's save that. We'll hit F7 to compile. And now if we run over to our scene, we'll hit play. Now you notice that it does move around quite a bit more. We can aim, look around. It's kind of jerky right now. We'll, we'll worry about fixing that up later. And also we're going to hide the mouse cursor so you can't see it. Um, so anyways, that's what we've done so far. And in our next video, we'll just work on cleaning up a few things and uh, switching back over to the chase cam when we launch the ball. See you next time.